Hey everyone, Coach Investor back to another video for today. So let's talk about the three stocks I'm watching ahead of next week's earnings. As you might know, we're well on our way with this earnings season. We had Tesla report earnings, Netflix. The day this video gets released is Intel and Snapchat. Tomorrow, stay tuned for my Intel video if you're interested in that. But next week, we're going to have all of the big boys. We're going to have the FANG stocks and then some other popular companies report earnings as well. So out of all of those, I've chosen three to watch ahead of next week's earnings. One of them I own, one I do not own directly, I own it through an ETF, and the third one I don't own at all, just one that might help me with another position. Now before I continue with this video, I just want to thank everyone that has been subscribing lately. We're on the way to 18,000 subscribers, so if you haven't subscribed to this channel, maybe hit that subscribe button. And if you like these videos, leave it a thumbs up as it really helps me outgrow the channel and get my videos out there. And I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. You all know how much I love researching new stocks and trying to find the next best investment. So I'm proud to partner with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 free stock picks from their popular product, Stock Advisor. Now, Stock Advisor has beat the market by more than 4x. So, all you have to do is go to fool.com forward slash couch investor to get your free 10 stock picks now. All right, so stock number one I will be watching, and that's the one I own, and that's Facebook. I recently made a video about Facebook and how it's incredibly cheap despite all the noise out there in the market. You can find that video in the top right corner. So what I would be watching out for with Facebook is obviously how they've been performing as a company despite everything that's been going on. In the last quarter, they already announced that we might see some deceleration in this quarter and in the next one because of the year over year comes and at targeting changes such as the one on iOS and other regulatory changes on the platform. So I'm going to keep an eye out on that if they can keep on growing those revenues obviously we might also talk again about the metaverse if you don't know last quarter the metaverse was left front and center for facebook and for mark zuckerberg there was also some reports this week that came out and said that facebook might be looking to change its name as it wants the public to not only view them as a social media company but as a metaverse company. I would like to know what you think their new name would be. Let me know down in the comments below. But since Facebook will report earnings after Snapchat, we might already get a sense of how well they will be doing. Because Snapchat again is also a social media company, lots of advertising dollars flow into that as well. So let's see how they've been doing and then we can maybe speculate on how well Facebook might have done as well. Now, during the earnings call, I do expect some questions with regards to that whistleblower case. So I will be looking for a strong answer from management. Also, with the holiday season approaching, I would like to see maybe some numbers or maybe some guidance of how well they think their Oculus side of the business might perform. They're also going to hire 10,000 new employees in Europe to create their own vision of the metaverse. So they're really, really going towards that goal of not just being a social media company, but turning into that big metaverse company. So obviously I own Facebook shares. If it dips on great earnings, I will probably add some to my portfolio. Now, number two is a stock I do not own. It's just a stock I'm monitoring to see how well another position of mine might be performing. And that's Twitter. The other position that I do own is Pinterest. By the way, when I'm filming this video right before, I got a text that PayPal might be acquiring Pinterest for about $70 per share. Now, if you want to know my opinion on the matter, I do not like this deal at all. Why? You might see this on this tweet right here. Now let's talk about Twitter. What do I want to see there? Again, advertising dollars flowing into the platform, seeing how much that has been growing, seeing how well the platform has been monetized because their metric is monetizable daily active users, not monthly active users like Pinterest, but the daily ones and how well they monetize that. Twitter obviously has lots of new features, lots of nice new features on the platform. But again, like I've said before, how can they monetize that right now? Because the platform has been free for a very, very, very long time. Spaces are great. Free to use. Yes, you can have ticketed spaces, but then again, you're putting a paywall and then you might have less people tuning in. They've implemented tips and super follows. I think the last numbers we got from super follows is that they generated $6,000 in revenue. So really 
not that much. And with regards to previous guidance, they expected revenue to be between 1.22 billion and 1.3 billion. So let's see if they can beat that. And lastly, number three, and that's Teladoc. It's a stock I own through the Arc Genomic ETF. And I've talked about it most recently in another video. If you want to check that out, it's going to be in the top right corner. I said there that a broken stock does not equal a broken company. And that's completely applicable with Teladoc. If you look at the graph and not the company, you will probably say that this company is going bankrupt and hasn't been growing for a day. But actually, it has been growing each and every quarter. We've seen that growth over and over. I also compared it in another video to Amwell and showed you guys how they actually continue to grow while Amwell isn't growing that much. So the same thing here, I will be looking for those growth numbers for Teladoc, whether it's quarter over quarter or year over year. Now with regards to guidance, they expect revenue to be between 510 and 520 million dollars or a year over year growth at the midpoint of 78.5%. Total visits to be between 3.4 and 3.6 million. That's a 23.5% year over year growth at the midpoint. Now the analysts are actually expecting $514.4 million in third quarter revenue. So let's see if they can beat that estimate and let's see if they can surprise the market. In my opinion, I do think that Teladoc will be a long-term winner. Obviously we'll need some patience because that Livongo acquisition wasn't cheap at all and it will take some time until we actually see great results from top to bottom. So overall, those are the three stocks I will be watching next week. There's just one and that's Facebook that if I see a great dip and a great earnings report, I will probably be adding to my position. But that will be it. Let me know down in the comments below what stocks you'll be watching next week. How many companies are reporting earnings? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, maybe hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, take care, stay safe and see you all in the next video. Bye bye.